हेलो माय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय टेक यूट्यूब चैनल आई डिडेंट अप्लाई टू ब्लू फिल्टर दिस इज माय क्रेजी फोन क्रेजी सेल्फी कैमरा ओके सो हाउ एवर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल विंडोज ऑपरेटिव सिस्टम यूजिंग यूएसबी बूटेबल डिवाइस वी ऑलरेडी मेड दैट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो सो यू कैन चेक दिस आउट फॉर हाउ टू मेक फास्ट यूएसबी बूटेबल डिवाइस from ssd so i had plugged my usb uh, portable usb portable usb ssd drive to my pc gaming pc uh, yeah. also you can see how crazy my gaming pc is the that pc have liquid cooling so with uh, with a uh, crazy setup so if you like this crazy setup you can also watch my previous video also uh, in the description i will keep my gaming channel link okay so let's start install windows just we need to turn on our pc and we need check uh, which key of your boot menu yeah so my pc is starting process right now so we need to press the key which you need to go to uh, bios so boot menu so maybe it will be ese or f2 or f12 or delete so those are the keys you need to uh, press to go to boot menu so that will be different from your pc to others pc that means uh, pc to pc that boot menu option is will uh, will change so please uh, check your motherboard or your laptop or your for, uh, pc model uh, on the google then you can find the boot, boot key so then you can uh, bios menu so i said uh, each computer have a uh, different key so maybe esc f2 f12 or delete key so try those keys or uh, try to find your type your motherboard and uh, try to find uh, which key is your bios key so this is the bios menu so you can see uh, there are a lot of uh, tabs uh, like uh, there are sub menus in here so you need to find the boot menu so we can't use uh, the mouse in this bios uh, version but uh, maybe you can use if you display a mouse pointer in uh, somewhere you can use the mouse so there is no uh, mouse pointer i can see so i need to use uh, the function keys so you can uh, see uh, the functions i means the which keys for uh, what you can see that so select screen go uh, everywhere you can use the arrow keys so when i enter the boot sub menu so you can see there are some boot uh, priorities here so you can see that uh, there are uh, yeah there are a few uh, boot priorities here so the first second third fourth fifth you can see uh, some of how so first you need boot option 1 select and select which ssd or which storage you need to install the uh, install the windows so first we need to take uh, you can see there are some <laughs> proxmox like however just you need to select uh, first priority menu as the uh, your windows uh, bootable device so i had uh, used this uh and next you can uh, just you need first take the usb bootable device and second you need uh, select which uh, storage you need to install so i will go to install xssd so then you can save and exit using f4 maybe you have f10 or somehow you can see uh, every options in there so after you click yes you uh, system will be restart like this so this is how my system work
yeah you can see the windows uh, 10 the logo light thing logo not animation booting animation here boot animation loading yeah so if you did them correctly you can find this screen uh, also if you are installing windows 10 you can find this screen so i'm going to tell you install windows 10 in this tutorial so you need to click next and then install now so after that setup is start so this process are simply simple so simple uh, the earlier process you need to find the boot option uh, i mean the boot menu uh, the bios menu uh, is the little bit uh, hard hard uh, part in this tutorial so first you need to find the boot uh, option i mean uh, first you need to find the boot key bios key and then you need to find the boot option boot priorities and select uh, first priority as your pen drive or uh, our bootable drive and then you need to select the second uh, st uh, second priority as the your ssd or you need which device uh, which storage device you need to install so you can see there are uh, operating systems uh, types of here so each system uh, each one have different things so if explanation if you need a standard installation this is your own license key uh, so if you had already a license key on your computer this will be automatically activated so i will have i will go to uh, active license key because i have license keys not with this pc uh, yeah i already bought a license key yeah so after you click next you will uh, direct to this uh, applicable notice and license terms so you need to accept these license terms so next you have to install the windows so you need to install windows only uh, this option i will recommend because if you need to install this uh, you can upgrade your windows with every latest versions uh, but you need to connect internet so right now i don't have internet so i'm going to continue normal yeah so then you can see every your partitions in here so this i this is fresh and uh, i need to uh, make my pc fresh and so then i will uh, delete all uh, my partitions and what i can see in here i need uh, delete everything because you had uh, see i had proxmox installed uh, on my one of ssd so i will delete everything and yeah this one so you can select uh, this any uh, of your ssds ssd or storage device and uh, you can click new and you can partition it's uh, how 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 many parts if you need so for example this uh, nvme is 2.5 uh, 5 gb storage so you can uh, split it uh, like uh, local disk d e like this so you can also this in here uh, i will do another uh, tutorial uh, to how to do that uh, local disk partitions uh, in windows uh, operating system in windows system not in this installation process yeah so i will skip this because of that's not enough if i uh, partition this 512 in vme so i will keep one then the windows uh, installation process is started so that's uh, so simple you can uh, see the first part is already done so next you can see getting files ready to information so it's zero percentage uh, and then installing features so after this uh, when 100 percentage the system will be restart so at that time you need to uh, uh, unplug i mean uh, uh, usb drive you need to take it back uh, or you can change it on the boot menu so easy thing you can take the uh, pen drive out uh, or the bootable menu out but uh, you uh, think uh, remember that uh, if 
the system is power up uh, any time uh, if you had already plugged a usb drive so the system is already think that usb drive is the bootable device so don't do that plug the usb drive out i will uh, show you how to uh, change uh, the boot priorities again so stay with me so guys you can see uh, 43 44 45 so we need until uh, that will go uh, 100 percentage and then this uh, stage is already ticked so after that installation features then the system will be restart automatically so at that time we need to change the priorities so wait for that yeah so guys i need to remember if you like those tutorials uh, please like this video and if you like more tutorials please subscribe my channel yeah so uh, to show you I'm going to show you right now that this is 100% is done so installation features you can see there is a, a ground a green color bar is going uh, next steps like this so we are facing the restart time so yeah yeah done I think this is the time for restart yeah you can see 10 seconds uh, so i will restart it now and then again you need to click your uh, your boot boot bo bios menu key so we need to enter the bios key i am pressing uh, the bios key yeah from the restart we need restart beginning we need to uh, press the key yeah yeah so i enter the bios menu so then go to again boot and uh, bootable options we need to select the bootable uh, let's say xssd and the Toshiba transfer uh, the boot menu priority we don't need that <coughs> so yeah windows boot manager ssd file to l so we need lex ssd just yeah uh, <laughs> please uh, don't forget uh, the past things first you need uh, take the lex uh, your windows installation installed uh, nvme first and then uh, keep others so however you can uh, disable this or uh, just uh, keep it out don't do anything first boot option you need to select the windows one so after that you can press f4 and exit yeah so that's it uh, just right now uh, our bootable drive is not uh, start loading so that's it uh, your pen drive or bootable drive is not uh, loaded in the windows so this is the full uh, things of installing windows so that's so easy uh, so the first steps are you can do that it's like uh, the fresh windows you have to customize your settings like if you need a language and the customer customize your keyboard layer out and what uh, you need as the features you can select them and go ahead so that's the most important thing how to install windows using bootable device so if you like those videos please subscribe my channel and make a like also comment below your idea and uh, i will do more tutorials in my this channel so yeah if you like stay with me so be crazy